Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. A big blow to Disney. Kind of small chump change for them, but still a pretty big deal. They're going to have to pay out $43 million in a pay equity class action lawsuit. Uh, this was brought to them by a whole group of female employees. Basically said, hey, uh, you discriminate against women. So, yeah, they're screwed. All these kind of pretenders, all these people that virtue signal. I mean, the, the clues in what I've just said, pretend, don't they? They just sit around. They love to jerk their little jimmies and try and say that they're, you know, virtue signaling, all this kind of nonsense. But that's all it is. It's all... Virtue signals. There's no actuality there. There's no conviction. There's nothing tangible. They don't mean anything they say, you know. Uh, and this is just evidence of that even further. It's quite comical, really. You know, Disney famously filmed Mulan, you know, their live action remake of Mulan, next to a Uyghur Muslim uh, internment camp. And they even thanked them for the province, working in the province, which is crazy. Absolute madness. Uh, but look, it is what it is. This is the world we live in, you know, where we can be lectured on woke shit by Apple whilst they also employ third world slave labor children. So it is what it is. But hey, it's fun to watch Disney get taken down a peg or two. So we'll take a look at this article from Deadline. They've got the information here. They've got several updates. So hit subscribe if you're new here. Do turn those bell notifications on. If you're a returning viewer, but you're not subscribed because there is a lot of people that are not subscribed to the channel but keep coming back, please do hit subscribe. That would be great. But like I said, let's take a look at this. So, Disney to pay out $43 million in a pay equity class action deal. Uh, and then it also says it will bring outside consultants on board to check practices. Um, look, at the end of the day, I mean, all this kind of stuff, I, I hate all this kind of stuff anyway. I think all of this is just nonsense, generally speaking. Um, you know, it's what leads to actors, just for argument's sake, saying that men and women actors need to be paid the same when they're not the same draw. It's just, it's insane. Um, but it is what it is. So, updated with plaintiff's lead lawyer statement. Now, it says here, we now know how much Disney is writing a check for to end the pay equity class action suit that has loomed over the company for the past five years. 14,000 people. 14,000 people. People, women, uh, were suing Disney. It says they're set to address up to 14,000 eligible class members of female Disney employees, past and present, from 2015 to today. The Bob Iger run Fun Palace will be paying $43.25 million, according to papers set to be filed in LA Superior Docket later tonight. Um, and that was yesterday. So far less than the 300 million it was estimated that the case could balloon to once it was once if was certified as a class action last December. The official compensation comes a couple of weeks after news broke of a quietly reached October settlement between Disney and the Laurie Andrus representative plaintiffs. Uh, the whole matter was set to go to trial in May of 2025. I would have loved this to go to trial. That would have been epic. I think they've all just taken a look at it and gone, ah, it's a good deal. That's fine, I guess. But it is interesting, isn't it? I mean, this is, there's quite a long list of legal cases that have been brought uh, to the court system uh, in the States and also actually in the UK. Whilst it's been, whilst the company has been under the directorial, uh, managerial positions of uh, Bob Iger, right? And it is interesting, that man, he loves to put it out in the press that he's this near political powerhouse, this business powerhouse, this CEO god. And yet he's doing dodgy shit, man. He's doing really dodgy shit. There's a lot of lawsuits against Disney. And he's, he's he presided over the company. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite crazy, really. Now it says this. Uh, this is a Disney spokesperson. It says, We have always been committed to paying our employees fairly and have demonstrated that commitment throughout this case. And we're pleased to have resolved this matter. Shut up. No. No. This entire situation would never have occurred. Ever. It would never have occurred if you were committed to paying your employees fairly. It just wouldn't. And you wouldn't have settled either. You are full of it. Full of it.
Italian hand gestures and all. Utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. Having said that, the company's also bringing in outside consultant to help foster better practices in terms of pay equality. Uh, also, Disney will further its cooperation for having three years with external economists on the matter of compensation equity. What does this even mean? You're an, an external economist for compensation equity. What is that? Uh, all of which is nice, but the bacon really gets fired up on January 10th, 2025. In a downtown hearing before Judge Elihu M. Burl to get final approval for the settlement. While never a sure thing and open to degrees of objection, that uh, session in six weeks will more than likely be the end of this case. So first filed in April 2019, over back pay, lost benefits and more by Disney staffers, LaRonda Rasmussen and Karen Moore and heading towards a May 2025 trial, the suit accused the Magic Kingdom of not being so kind with its cash based on gender. Sex. As opposed to performance, at its core. What? As opposed to performance. It's a meritocracy then, maybe. I don't know. Uh, at its core, the suit claimed Disney has violated the Fair Employment and Housing Act and California's Equal Pay Act in paying men more than women for the same work. If it's identical work, yeah, then that's wrong, isn't it? Seeking at least $150 million in lost wages initially, the suit saw repeated big pushback from Disney over the year in efforts to have it dismissed and not certified, exclaiming the whole thing was merely highly individualised allegations. Disney Paul Hastings LLP team sought to limit the matter to a small contingent of less than 10 women. <laughs> well, that fucked up, didn't it? Uh, there was also drama over documents and discovery, which the plaintiffs calling out the mouse house as dragging their feet with data and paperwork. This will be the same with Gina Carano as well. That's just what they do. Now, it's a very different type of paperwork everyone is waiting on from the judge after Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Uh, so it says this, I strongly commend Ms. Rasmussen and the women who brought this discrimination suit against Disney, one of the largest entertainment companies in the world, said the plaintiff's lead attorney, uh, Laurie Andrus, on Monday. They risked their careers to raise pay disparity at Disney. Uh, I'm also encouraged that Disney is committed to run annual pay equity reviews to further promote pay equity. I believe this will help strengthen the company and its brand as a key employer and contributor to California's economy. Uh, and this could also extend further because this didn't... It didn't include people employed by Hulu, ESPN, Pixar, Fox, FX, Nat Geo. Uh, so there you go. What else did you say, really? I think largely a lot of this equity... I oh, piss off with these terms. But it is funny. It's all the virtue signaling you do, guys. All the virtue signaling you do. If you were if you were doing what you say you were doing, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have settled. But it will be interesting to see what happens moving forward. So leave your thoughts down below. Take care. Bye bye now.